Hey there, today on Tom's Tech Show, I saw an article about a proposed fantasy Orville episode, and I just love it, so let's go over it. So we've all seen, uh, hi, this is Tom, Tom's Tech Show. Today, uh, we've, we've seen, you know, a lot of Next Generation characters uh, and Star Trek characters bleed over and come over into the Orville, and... Um, I was just kind of searching around and I found an article on on Bleeding Cool and I just I loved the idea of it so let's kind of go over that right now so this is the it's kind of an opinion kind of piece of course it's not an actual episode but it's an idea for one and and I like it, it says Orville season X some season anywhere oh captain's my captain so they're saying let's make an episode where we have so here they're supposing uh the latest you know they're they're writing it like it, it's an article like it are actually happened but so the episode begins when the orville finds a mysterious uninhabitable planet not before documented crew stumble upon cryogenic pods and they hold the founders of the planetary union which are played by william shatner patrick stewart avery brooks kate mulgrew and scott bakula so this is bringing all of these characters, all of these actors over into the Orville universe. So they go over kind of the different things that they do. You know, they, they bring them out. So it says, initially the crew, especially Ed Mercer, is elated about what they find and what they can learn. It's an amazing fifth wall creating and breaking inception within inception like moment. Each captain begins criticizing the crew for all their screw ups and then Monday morning quarterback about how they would have handled it better, um, which would be hilarious. That would be just, you know, uh, everybody could get their shots in and everybody about what they're doing. Um, I mean, I, I like all the points where we see uh, Next Generation or Enterprise or whoever from the Star Trek universe bleed over. I mean, I think I'm going to make another video just about all the characters that I've seen so far um, that have been made the jump right off of you know Star Trek to the Orville but they kind of go over the whole story and and everything else um, just just I love this that we're getting people so excited about something and they're wanting to make their own fiction about it they're wanting to take that and move and put their own stories out there that we're you know we're excited about this blend of moving everything that's because i mean star trek in today is you know is winding down definitely and the orville the fandom i mean the things that you see out there of the fandom doing like the uh messy desk people making this whole walkthrough of of the orville just an amazing thing i cannot wait to see that and be in, I, I would hope also it hopes at some point maybe we would get licensing for some video games i mean that would be awesome to be able to you know take the orville and battle and and, and fly around in it and have missions and, and things like that but you know just seeing these things like this where where just people are just like hey let's 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 suppose what an idea for an episode would be i don't know if you could actually have enough money in the budget to get all of these actors, you know, I mean, Patrick Stewart, I'm sure, you know, wants a sizable sum to be on the show. Uh, William Shatner, I think you would need to do it sooner rather than later, you know, because he's getting up there, you know, to be pretty old, although he's still pretty vibrant for, you know, the age that he is. But um, just being able to see this and, you know, have people continue to build upon the Orville. And, you know, I'm, I, I haven't seen any books yet. I mean, that they've licensed out, you know, to be able to have, you know, like storybooks. Um, I mean, there's, of course, the comic books that are coming out pretty soon. But just like, you know, the pocketbooks that we had for years of, you know, all the different Star Trek things that people were licensed to be able to write and be able to take all the characters and do such fun things with them. Um, I, I, I'm just so excited. I can't, I mean, 
we're out of you know episodes for this year until potentially next year. I don't know when the next you know episode is going to be out. When season three is going to start? Whether they're going to do the same thing, drop it in you know the end of December so they can say that it was out this year, or we're going to actually wait until all the way to 2020 to get more episodes. And, um, and we don't know how many episodes there are going to be. I mean, are they going to do another 13? Are we going to go, you know, maybe expand that? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if, how Seth MacFarlane's schedule is. You know, maybe that's what this is all behind. You know, what's his schedule? How much can he put into each episode? Um, things like that. But it's just so exciting to see things like this, you know, come up that, you know, would this be a great idea to have everybody, you know, all the captains from the Star Trek series and suddenly be in Orville and become the founders of the Planetary Union? Oh, that would just be awesome. So awesome. I want to see this. I want to have this done. I mean, make it, make it a book. Even make it, you know, this would be the first book, you know, that they go and do this, you know, kind of thing. Just, just awesome. All right. Well, Thanks for watching this. Um, I love the Orville. I can't wait for the Orville to be back. I do make videos about the Orville and things like that. I'd make videos about technology and movies and TV shows and things like that. And every once in a while, I make a video about photography or something that I'm doing. I just had a video about uh, Galaxy's Edge because I got to go there a few days ago. So watch that and it'll kind of give you the good and bad, you know, about what's in there. Um, so watch all those and subscribe and then you'll just get all the videos right away. All right. Well, thanks for watching this. Take care.